When I, this offer came through, uh, that was the first thing I did was to download it. I can't believe I know how to download a film now. I'm so young. And I watched it and uh, genuinely loved it. Genuinely loved it. And uh, I thought it was very clever. It wasn't patronizing. It was, it never went sentimental. It was, it was emotional, but it never went icky. And, um, and I liked the script they'd sent. And then I said, well, I just better meet Paul King to make sure I don't hate him. And uh, I loved him, so it was easy. My character, Phoenix Buchanan, is an ex-star uh, of the West End Theatre. Uh, I say ex because uh, his career has taken a downturn, largely through his own fault, because his incredible vanity and narcissism meant that he became uh, unhappy working with other actors because he couldn't bear any of the others getting any attention. And in the end, he stopped getting work. And by the time our film starts, he, he, he survives on scraps of TV commercials for dog food. Uh, and my only guide was the first Paddington, which I loved. Uh, and then uh, in terms of how broad to make my character, well, talking about costumes, to Paul King, and he kept saying, bigger check suits, you know, madder hats. I thought, okay, well, it can be quite big. It is an idealized London we see, but an unashamedly idealized one. It's not like we're just leaving out the ugly bits. It's, um, it's a bit like the tone of the whole film, which is it's, um, knowingly and self-avowedly positive, not just about London, but about human beings, about the power of being uh, decent and well-mannered in the way that Aunt Lucy taught Paddington to be, and how if you are that, things will come right. If you've just watched the film and then you have a drink with Paul for the first time, you think he is the bear. Is it their eyes are the same. But then you have to remember, when they're doing the bear with the computer guys, Paul tells me that he uh, acts out the scenes quite a lot for them. And so it's not surprising they've ended up creating a bear that, that looks and behaves a bit like him. <laughs>